he attacks other people based on what they look like or who they pray to, who they love, the way they were raised. He tries to divide Americans because, quite frankly, he struggles with uplifting all Americans. I think it shows a profound weakness in a leader when they can't sell themselves, but instead they got to attack other people. And attacking the identity of the vice president uh, is shameful. And attacking the identity of the vice president doesn't at all reflect negatively on Vice President Harris, but shows a real insecurity about Donald Trump. Listen. This guy is nervous as hell to face Kamala Harris. He's already trying to back out of the debate. Did you notice that? Of Part of that is because he knows she's going to whoop him in the debate. She is a skilled prosecutor, a great communicator. But there's another reason why he doesn't really want to debate her and doesn't really want to have a conversation about the issues. And that is because he can't defend his record. He has a record of failure when he was president. I want you to think about this. When he was president, we had fewer jobs in Pennsylvania, we had less freedom, and a whole lot more chaos when Donald Trump was in charge. And listen, Kamala Harris, what she proposes to do for this nation is uplifting. It is empowering. And it's going to help make sure we move all Pennsylvanians forward, from our HBCUs to our skyscraped center cities to our farmlands. And I must tell you that I've been traveling all around this Commonwealth, as you know, doing my job as governor and also making sure that I tell people about the Kamala Harris that I know and that I've known for the last 20 years. Folks are excited wherever I go. Rural communities, suburban, urban communities, they're fired up, they're ready to go. And I think Donald Trump's attacks speak volumes about the kind of coward that he is, about his own failings, and say nothing about the great qualifications of the vice president.